What up YouTube, it's Astronomus back with another episode of East Nine Monster Knox. Last time we find out the truth, or most of it, or as much as people know, however you want to see it. Um, yeah, now we're back at the hideout, and we have to talk to the new collaborators. So let's go and talk to them. First one I see over here is Xavier. Well met, Rusty. So this is your secret fortification, huh? Why didn't you tell me about this place before? Thanks for busting me out of prison, by the way. I wouldn't be here if you hadn't. I'm glad you're safe. Yeah, I'm glad you are too. <coughs> I heard about what happened. But are you really the self same Rusty? If you are, then I've got no comments about working together with you. And there's the little matter of my personal mission I need to carry out. Maybe I'll tell you all about it one day. Fare thee well, Rusty. Okay. Got a lot of cameras in Zan. That must mean I'm that must mean I'm late to the party. But better late than never, now that I'm here we can get the show on the road. Yeah man. There's one above us. What? She has a heart? What? 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 What does that mean? Talk to Saradi. Well, if it isn't the man of the hour himself, can you join me for a drink? I've been just dying for a chat with you. Oh, so it's really relationship stuff, huh? Why do you look so on edge, Adol? I believe. I'm not planning any dastardly deeds today. <clears throat> with the presents. Hey. Do you remember? She's so flirty. After analyzing it, I discovered that it dates back to the Hundred Years' War. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to go back for the rest. Drink up! I'm buying today. You can count me out. Oh, how can someone so cute be so boring? What does Seth want to do with the other man? Come on, Adol. We make a good team, don't we? It'll be fun. We'll find a way in, take the treasure, and be out of there. Nobody will miss it. Do you ever fear for your safety? <laughs> What's that, Mr. Adventurer? Is that the pot I hear calling the kettle black? <laughs> I admit, I find that the more dangerous the situation, the more exciting it is. We're two peas in a pod, you and I. <laughs> I've been meaning to ask you something, Adol. What went through your mind when you found out about the other you? Who knows that you aren't someone? You, are, you have skill? You could definitely be one. Did it ever occur to you that you still might not even be the real Adol? What if the real adult's still out there somewhere? <laughs> oh, I do love confidence in my men. You tell her that there's nothing fake about your thoughts and convictions. There's an equal truth to the real adult and the other adult. Saradi listens attentively, engrossed with curiosity, as you answer a question. Did I say something weird? No, not at all. I was just thinking about what you said. Money was the reason I started stealing, but it wasn't the reason I kept doing it. There's a part of me that pines for a thrill, even if I don't get a single gold coin out of it. <laughs> You're a fascinating man. You know that, Adol Kristen? I wonder what other escapades you've gotten yourself into. Is it true that you don't keep the treasures and legendary weapons you find? Next time, you should just give them to me. I'll find you a good buyer on the black market. Hmm, you should, man. Just one.
للسيفتي هيك ان كيس يو هيرت يور سيلف سو بادلي اند يو كانت كونتينيو ريتش ماكس ليفل ذا فيرست وان نايس سو يو كانت كونتينيو ادفنتشرينج يو هاف ا نستك There's still someone above us. Oh yeah, I was just with Sarah D talking because of her. Now I'm curious who I have the other gift for. Yeah, I have her. Uh, okay, nice. You give Krisha the floor head pin as a present. Huh? Yeah, for me, can I really have this? Yeah, you can. I thought it would suit you. Mm. So happy. Thank you so, so much. Is she going to wear it? It's cute, but it's sophisticated too. Maybe I should start wearing more sophisticated clothes. Carla usually picks my clothes for me, but I think I can find my own this time. Krisha, wait! What? The fuck did they come from? I'm so sorry, sweetie, but we couldn't help but over here. You intent on finding a matching outfit with that pin Adel Dunning gave you, is that correct? You know what this calls for? A shopping trip! I know just the outfits that would look gorgeous on you, Krisha. And I'll be there to offer my consultant services, free of charge, of course. Nobody knows fashion better than Chantel. Yeah, it does sound like a lot of fun. Okay, let's go, the three of us. We'll make your jaw drop, Adel, darling. Your affinity with Krisha has increased. Krisha support White Cats when I switch level 2. Floor has been received. Oh, so pretty much it's like this. Um, I gift it to them, and then it's in the inventory, right? Oh, so I can make them, yeah, I don't know. Don't like that. Let's just give it to Mano. Something for you, man. Just missing for two people. By the way. Now that I've started this, let's see this. This is Adel Krisha sleeping. She seems to be restless. Good morning. Good morning. She slept in. Did I fall asleep? I'm sorry. But what a relief. I had a dream that you left somewhere without us. But then I woke up and here you are. Well, he's an adventurer. He's going to leave you behind, girl. I'm sorry I made you worry. That's okay. We were just a bit startled when you fainted in the restricted sector. Hey, Adol. You're gonna leave when the curse is gone, aren't you? I've been doing my best to help everyone break the curse. But when Zola told us we didn't have to fight anymore, I was sad. It was this curse that brought us together. What if it was actually a blessing? I was afraid that if this blessing went away, you wouldn't stay with me anymore. Probably overthinking it. If only it would never end. Yeah, man. Even good times end. If only what would never end. <laughs> C 
Settle down, Krishna. I can't! First I fell asleep, then I start spouting nonsense. Still sleepy. I gotta pull myself together. Toki said that nothing makes for a better pick-me-up than a good slap on the cheeks. So please, at all. Give Krishna a gentle slap. Pat Krishna on the head. The cushion on the head. Huh? <laughs> oh, this was like a cat. Eh? That's not what I meant, silly. You're too nice at all. But that's what I like about you. I want to like a girl. You're way too young. I'm feeling out of sorts lately. You fell unconscious. My sister was taken. And on top of that, I'm still having trouble believing that I'm a homunculus. But I'll keep my chin up. You helped me realize how brave and strong I could really be. You are a goddamn hero that has fought in a goddamn war a hundred years ago, whatever that was, man. You got it. Just gotta remember it, man. And because of that, I finally gained father's approval. I have to repay the favor. I'll do my best to help you too. The affinity with Krisha is now at max. Okay, nice. Nice foo. This is full, man. Are you kidding me? How many are here? Oh, everyone is coming. Do I have to pay for all of you? Fuck that. This is that motherfucker that kidnapped a real self or a homunculus part. I don't even know anymore what is what. Talk to Shantae. Hi, oh, good day, everyone. Have you given the bulletin about the once over recently? Yes, do you mean the request talking about Shadowless Legacy? Legacy. What do you mean? You might find that answer in this letter I received from the client. Wait, who's the letter addressed to? To the Daniel, my dear. Though I do reserve a modicum of skepticism, but I suppose you can decide for yourself. Shad, Tay handed you the letter, you read it. Dear Monsters of Balduk, firstly, thank you for considering my single humble proposal. The master and commander left behind the legacy, the homunculi of exceptional individuals. I simply ask that you eliminate them. What? Their existence would inevitably disrupt the order in the world. You should understand. I have faith the judgment will be just. Do you want us to destroy all of the homunculi? Send this. It's an anonymous. But one thing's for sure, they know way too much. Who could it be? People who know too much, that comes to mind. But it doesn't add up, no. It could be any of the Hurgriff Knights currently in captivity of the Roman garrison. Otherwise, I do not suspect anyone else. Add it, mean, it's up to you to decide. If you do decide to follow through with it, be careful. It will most certainly be dangerous. We will, thanks, Rontaine. We are never finding out who it is, unless we take a look. I don't really care who it is, but it all be. Mince meat without me. <laughs> what? Have I not accepted it? I did. Wow, the streets are getting pretty busy. It will surely be far busier once the night market opens up. Man, if only this wasn't happening, then we could go enjoy ourselves. It would appear the Roman garrison is keeping watch over the city. And I doubt the knights will pull anything big while the soldiers are in command. Well, it is what it is, given all that's occurred. You'd never guess 
the ultimate criminal Nox was on its way looking at all of this. I forgot this ultimate. Fuck me. Yeah, you said it. We mustn't let our guard down. Stay mindful of the mirrors. When the fuck is the when the hell is that done, my son? Oh, it's, so now I'm getting recipes. Okay. Let's get one of these. I don't know if I can make it. Let's just get one for sure. Fuck you, Gaston. I don't care about. Look, there's way too much going on. I'm not going to read anything. I don't care. For landmarks. What? Okay. I thought I would get to him. So good of if you're hurt. No, if you're hurt, come to me right away. Be mindful when you can. I must take better care of yourself. Now look around town. Where else do I have to look around? No residence. Oh yeah. This place looks fancy every time I walk in. Guess it's not all that when you're living on a big time doctor's salary though. Well, Jules, let's go see what your mom has to say. Yeah, yeah. I'm back. Just a second. I'll be right down. Well, well, look at you, Jules. You've brought all your little friends home with you. Come in, come in. Oh, you'll have to forgive me for not tidying up. That's okay, sorry for not telling you we were coming. Oh, your mom's just the sweetest, isn't she? I'm jealous. <laughs> Sweet, is that what you call it? Oh, yes, yes. I did spot someone in town who looked just like a father. But it didn't take long before I lost him in the crowd. I didn't want to disappoint you if it turned out I was mistaken, Jules. That's why I didn't mention it. I hope you can forgive me. It's nothing to be sorry about. That said, how did you know I saw someone who looked like your father in the first place? I figured I had nothing to lose asking the monstrums for help, but... Oh, well... Oh, I get it. That's just how powerful our mother sunbound is, isn't it? You crazy girl. Yeah, sure. More importantly, this man you saw was over in the central district, right? Yes, that's right. I believe he was just on his way out of Balduk Cathedral. But there were so many people there that I ended up losing track of him. It will probably go down as the biggest mistake of my life. Boo-hoo. I see. So there truly are people out there who cry boo-hoo. Anyway, if Dr. Noro really did leave from the cathedral... Right, all we have to do is ask if anyone saw him there. Let's go, Ada. Oh, and Drew's dear, if you do happen to run into your father, I promise you won't force him to come back. But why? Because I trust him, your father would never leave us without a good reason. I may not know what the why exactly, but that much I can say for sure. 
There's no way you can know that. Oh, but I do. I'm a lot more perceptive than I look, you know. Should never underestimate, underestimate a mother, especially not yours, young man. Now promise me, Jules, alright? But then if if Sola is the one that put them into the full moon grimoire, right? Because I previously talked to someone, no they are not ready. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just constantly thinking about shit. Can't quite gather my thoughts, man. Yeah, let's continue, fuck it. This is by the Cathedral of the Hieroglyph Church. Right in the last place that Jews' father, I mean Dr. Noah, was seen coming out of. Oh, good to see you again. My father Ralph, thank you for coming. And it seems you've brought Credo. Let's move somewhere more private for our discussion, shall we? Yes, I know Dr. Noah well. He was the one we would call whenever worshippers fell ill. However, I regret that I don't know if he's come to the cathedral lately. That's okay. Sister Man, would you happen to know anything? I'm not sure if he's the same person you're looking for, but I recall seeing a rather strange man here just recently. Do you remember anything else about him by any chance? He came by asking to see some old medical records. The church keeps all of its records from the past, you see. I remember him because I thought it was such an unusual request. After I procured them for him, he perused them as if it in a frenzy. As if in a frenzy. Sounds a lot like that. And where did he go after that? That was another peculiar thing. He said he had business at the ancient shrine outside town. I thought he seemed like a doctor, but maybe he was an arche archaeologist. An ancient shrine, maybe no shrine. Yeah, most likely, and we've been there before. Okay, then, time to release some fond memories. Hey, Yufa, Mom said we didn't need to force him home, right? Then our work's done, isn't it? We already know he's alive. We're not going to force anyone to do anything. But we're so close, you can't quit while you're ahead, Jules. You two need to have a heart-to-heart. -heart. Wasn't that one of your nails in the coffin? I don't want to give you meals now. I don't want to. I don't want to. Don't want to. No. No. Antiquities, so Anemona. Oh, hello there. You must be here because you received a request. How oh, delightful, thank you all very much. You said the reason for this. What? The reefs for the cenotaph at the cemetery were damaged, right? I understand that you're planning on providing replacements for them. Allow me to explain. In honor of the West Victory Day Festival. What the fuck? Where did I see West? <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I'm still sick. Oh, you might can't hear to my voice. Just lying around quarantined nights. Annoying. But I've watched a lot of anime. Haven't played as much. Not a lot of anime. Yeah, either way. Day says, in honor of the Victory Day Festival, reds are hung on the center gap in the cemetery. When the festival concludes, the rest are stored by the trading bureau. 
This year, too many things were stacked in the wooden box, the rest were kept in good fire. The box was crushed and the rest inside were damaged. Oh no, poor is. Chuck it up to piss poor warehouse management, yeah. I accept full responsibility for this mishap. The tradition started to remember St. Rosita's heroic feats during the war. It's been around ever since the church declared her as a saint. And that's why it's so crucial that it isn't cancelled this year. The shop is acclaimed for its repairs, so I came here seeking help. In our line of business, we've fixed many an old relic, like ourselves for instance. I am humbled that you can trust our little shop with such an important undertaking. They're broken, but they're not beyond repair. Their foundations are still intact, thankfully. It will take time, more than what we have to fetch the materials. Let us go! Let us go! And we need fresh flowers for the reason they aren't easy to come by. Oh, I, I own a florist shop. I can help you. See, I understand the situation. If this is to honor Roswitha, then this is my responsibility as well. Perhaps we could assume the task of procuring the materials, I don't know. Yeah. My such wonderful boys and girls. They will help us immensely. Thank you all very much. The two materials that we need to complete the memories. The first of them are white ribbons to decorate the wrist with. Tail and the main skirt, carry them. The main skirt sounds easy enough. And the others, memorial flowers, they can be found growing all over Balduk. However, it's tradition to decorate the wreath with the most beautiful snowy white flowers. This time of year, such flowers bloom on Seal Canyon Trail. I've heard about this. It's a very rare trait, even for a species. We've been to the Seal Canyon Trail before, so it won't be too hard to look. Alright, free trip. I've always wanted to go flower picking. I apologize for asking, so if you all we get the result to attach the cushion. Yeah, okay. It's enough. The canyon is a treacherous place. Do you look out of each other there? Okay, finish this fuck. Fuck me, man. Let's just get... I'm 100% that I have the flower. Welcome, welcome, looking for something extra festive to wear today. You tell Giselle you need some white ribbon for the memorial wraps. Ooh, if the wrist broke, that's rough. I happen to have some overstock, so no need to pay for it, which is a second K. White ribbon received. Thank you so much. Your life safer, metaphorically speaking. Don't mention it, Oren, those dust in the hundred year wars is an important tradition. Clea's foundations were built on the deeds after all, it's the least we can do. Kinda of spooky that they broke on victory day though. Let's just hope it isn't a bad omen. Uh, if only this chick knew about the ultimate Grimlock. Ah, <laughs> uh, Credo. Not to mention Zola running about. There's definitely a feeling of dread in the air. Well, we better fix up those wreaths if you wanna start driving it all, way, all the way. Indeed. Uh, everything okay? Those looks on you guys could fray a finished scene. Oh no, we're just talking amongst ourselves, thank you for the help. All that reminds us to acquire the glistening flowers for the camp. But it said blah blah blah, we already have it. What? We must have, are you kidding me? I'm going there. Unless it's a special fucking flower that only appears when the mission is started. Oh, fuck me. So I really have to go back.
Oh yeah. What no? I came here. I don't think I can exit from here again, huh? No. The hidden herb gun. to fight you man. I'm curious if I have to be uh, to go this way. I'm just going to assume that I have to go up. Going down is easy, so I don't mind. That is the wall isn't the right place. Straight ahead, and over here, then I can jump. Okay, so it's not him. Just take this with me in the arm. What, do I have to kill all of you? Yeah. Oh, get a look at those! Sun and Canyon, pure white bloom, snow, shimmer, it checks other boxes, not all about it. These are the flowers used in the memories. How curious. Here the bloom is special brilliantly compared to others of the kind. It's what likely it means it's optimal growing condition in terms of climate and terrain. Or oh, for the convenience of them to be in just in time for the festival, though. Yeah? Try not to take any more than we need, okay? With that, you have gathered all the requisite materials for the memories. Let us return to the antique shop, such as Rodero and Mr. Ness Amelon. That final is all. Oh, it's probably me having to kill all of the humunculi. Ah, you've brought the ribbons and the flowers for the reeds. These are just the flowers we need. You have our thanks. With these, we can fix the reeds. I just happy we, we could help. Now then, we have to work to do. We just a moment. You may stay as well there. Thanks, you all died, so. Once the reeds were completed, they went to the cemetery together.
Wow, this Reese really ended up coming together. Not that I expected any less from you, Mr. Mr. Ringling. Okay, can we stop this now? It's getting annoying. Oh no, we hardly did a thing. Though I think I speak for all of us when I say this looks are shine the previous ones. We have the beautiful flowers and ribbons you all collected, thank for that. And now the source of the sand and those lost in the war can rest in peace another year. Yeah, sure, man. I'm just glad we could help. No. Actually, no, when a police gives us all of this is a bit of funny feeling. Well, actually knowing Aprilis gives all of this a bit of a funny feeling. Uh, actually knowing Aprilis gives all of this a bit of a funny feeling. Indeed, but at the same time, it's a certain sense of accomplishment as well. Let's say that again. Thanks for your help, Mr. Emerson, and all of you as well. We make sure to take extra care of these. We don't want to put all the work to waste. Just stop it, come on. I don't know, I don't, don't like this side quest, don't know why. Thank you for going through the trouble of collecting everything for us. We'll just be going back in the shop now. Alright, we do have our little slight project to be completing. Now then, I hope you all enjoy the Victory Day festivities. Um, same to you. Side project, so that piques my interest. Of course it does. On deliberation, they did mention having a few materials for the Reese over left over. Well, it couldn't hurt to go in and sneak a peek, right? Actually, it can hurt a lot, man. Why do I have to go again and this is starting to piss me? I don't want to have anything to do with you anymore. This is just about Anemona, man. Oh, how about this one? Oh, Rodario. That one simply won't do. I think girls these days prefer frills like this one has. Oh, for crying out loud, Melissa. You don't like any of the ones I pick. Maybe this would be easier if you just picked it yourself. I do have my opinions, but I could never decide all on my own. Yeah. Oh my, what a pleasant surprise, if it isn't Krisha and her friends, yeah. intruding, sneak peeking. <clears throat> Wait just a moment, dears, I go prepare a pot of tea. I have to do that, we were just in the area, so we thought we'd say hello. Lies, 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 yeah, we were that, yeah. To be precise, I wanted to make any minute clothes out of the leftover ribbons and flowers. Oh, no shit. We wanted her to have a pretty new set in time for the festival. And I might have been finished in, in the and I might have been finished in time for the festival if it weren't for you your nettling. Well I only want an ammonia to have the most adorable clothes in town. They must be inspired after repairing the reels. Looks like it. Should probably leave them be. You shouldn't have even entered. What the fuck? I'm sorry, Krisha. Please come back anytime. They have a side project, and you. Oh, let's just go inside. Fucking nosy people, man. I don't want to hear. Is everything okay, Anamona? At least I don't have to read, man. Uh, yes. I was just thinking about Melissa and Rodario's conversation. It reminded me of something. Of something from your past? No, from a fucking future. Yes. A memory from many years ago. Of a time I spent with Rosfida. With Aprilis. What do you think, Anamona? What do... I think? You wish to know if that dress is defective? No, silly. It's a new outfit for you to wear. It took me a long time to make these. It's a present from me to you. A present? Then shall I give you something in return? You don't need to give me anything. I just want us to be friends, Anamona. Papa has already instructed me to do so. That's not what I mean. Why? How could 
did you do that? Your doll was getting old. I merely attempted to give her a new body. However, I did not expect her soul to reject it and disappear. But you didn't have to throw her away! Hmm? What is the reason for this outburst? You don't know anything! gone forever but here you are i want so badly to take you with me but you have your own life now and i can't risk losing you again goodbye anamona until next time she didn't take you because she was worried about you it sounds like aprilis was actually a pretty normal girl I'm kind of relieved to hear that. Anna Mona, you're smiling. Hmm? So it seems dolls can smile too. Anna so what you were looking for was Aprilis all along? Perhaps, but only in the beginning. Now I wish to find a way to end the Grimwald Knox forever. Aprilis has been fighting alone for so long, but now I can do something to help her. I do not want for her to feel alone again. Yeah. Yes, I believe we will. So, what do you all think about this Zola guy? From what I know about him, he sounds unpredictable, and his magnum opus is anybody's guess. Yeah. I just hope that we'll find out soon. Man, it's taking forever. I know we've done the side quest. It's father's son. The hell is this for a quest? Oh yeah, it's one there. Okay. What is required? Oh, I believe required means that I have to complete them, right? And obviously the story, the red, red signs, not green ones. By the way, it's already way too long this episode. If you enjoy it, if you want to find out how this ends, then stick around. I'll be bringing you more episodes very soon. Until then, have a good one, guys.